What's up? There's somebody cooking? Oh yeah, look at them. There they are, cooking away. Today we're gonna see some weird apartments and it is a weird, rainy day. It changes color for some reason. Definitely this place has a high-end renovation to it, but will it be enough to justify the $7,750 price tag of this four bed, two bath? We've got like the cooking area. You could put some stools under this countertop and then coffee makers and stuff over here. Well, you can see directly into the neighbor's apartment. After this, we're gonna see a place like theirs. Microwave, sink, sprayer, cabinets, decent. And this little guy here, this is a beverage fridge. It's called a Coolatron, probably model number 5,000. It even has a little light feature. Oh, oh, what's it doing? The living room's exactly 10 by 10. Not bad for lower Manhattan, which is where we are. The view's kind of lame, but that's gonna be good for watching movies. My guess is your TV goes here, then you have a little couch here facing it. But if your TV's a little smaller, maybe you could mount it here and put your couch flush with that wall. Laundry and unit, that's a nice touch. And above this, look, there's room for soap. And this is the pantry slash linen closet. Look at all these shelves. You could have cans of beans and tuna going all the way up. Two full baths. That's probably this place's best feature. Both of these have tubs, glass doors, and these essentially mirror each other. This one, the glass is a little cleaner. They both have a window. Medicine cabinets. I can't imagine living in a place like this with multiple people and having everyone traffic jam on one bath. Per person, this place is gonna be 1,900 bucks if you share it, and you can't get a one bedroom or a two bedroom for that per person here. I love how all of the rooms are similar to each other. This guy and this guy are pretty much the same. This room is nine feet, eight inches by 10 feet, eight inches. And this one is 10 feet, 11 inches by nine feet, five inches. Both have the same size closet and pretty much the exact same view. These are interior windows. They do get some sunlight, but they're gonna be good for sleeping because there's zero street noise in here. But there's a chance these other two rooms might be the better ones. Still kind of rainy, but the killer feature here is the balcony. You've got like this little platform here. You could have like a small chair or something on it. And look, it's covered by this person's balcony. It's also separate from the fire escape. Granted, this might not be as functional as this person's backyard, but look, their balconies are fake. That's not a real balcony. And they probably pay more money. But these rooms are a little smaller, eight feet, two inches by nine feet, 11 inches. That's like 80 square feet right on the money, but you could have a bed over there. In this corner, that's where the door is. And on these rooms, you don't want to block the door, my assumption is you'll go out there. Oh, look at this one. It comes with a shirt that you can wear to your job on Wall Street. It's been recently dry cleaned too, and that looks like it's my size. There's some stuff that I like about this apartment more than the one downstairs. $32.95 and it is a one bedroom. This bathroom is like spotless though. Look, the tub looks brand new. Everything here is nice and shiny. Hand towel holder. Laundry in the actual bathroom, but like everything clears. Sink looks good. We're a lot higher up and the water pressure is still strong. Got a medicine cabinet and a two-tone paint job. Interesting kitchen. The um, space here is kind of confined. The fridge opens enough, I would say. And look, we've got decent counter space for one person to use. Four outlets. Window. And look at how they built this. It kind of like wraps around. Over here, you could have like a couch or a dining table. I don't see room for both. And across from the counters, that's where you could mount the TV. Closet space is awesome. This is a legit walk-in. All right, 
right, we got the same balcony, but there's nobody above us, which means that here you'll get rained on. It is a lot brighter though, so I don't think that's necessarily a downside. And above the balcony, right there you could put an AC. The other bedrooms didn't have that. This is also 11 by nine and a half. Definitely on par with what we've seen in this building. Bedroom closet. Oh, look at that, another huge closet. Storage space here is better. Living room is almost the exact same size, but is it worth that extra $1,200 over having a room downstairs? I don't know. She's kind of loud. And this bar is kind of crooked. This has to be intentional because this is a massive refurbished apartment. In fact, the kitchen is so refurbished, we can't really even tell what's going on. Why are these doors in here? There's no way that door is gonna be put on here. There's like no room for it. Got some cabinet panels. Tight kitchen, but man, it's got some nice appliances. Will the dishwasher make it? Yes, it will. The sink is big and look, there's enough counter space for a can of Coke. Five burners on the range. And check this out, right across from the kitchen, brand. Why does this one open this way and this one opens this way? That looks difficult. But these are brand new LG, not combo units, they're vented. Look, no one has washed anything in here yet. 17 feet 6 inches by 11 feet 7 inches. That's a good size and at $44.95, this two bedroom actually looks like a pretty good deal so far. All the lights are on dimmers. That's the kitchen right there. You could get a table. And then this little nook is for the entertainment center. I'd get an L-shaped couch in that corner. This is definitely the best layout that we've looked at thus far. Dimensions are 12 and a half by nine feet. Comes with a free AC, not just one, but two windows, even though fire escapes aren't balconies, it's still cool. And the closet space in this bedroom is fantastic. Look, we got one, two of these bad boys. Why does this one have a key? You could like close this and lock it and whoever's in there wouldn't be able to get out. Also this door, it's frosted. So, light, whoa, all oh, that was loud. Are we okay? Did I damage anything? I think it's because that window those open and the air just kind of like closed it. I swear, I'm trying to be careful. 10 and a half by 14 feet, four inches. Beautiful bedroom. I wish my room like this was like this. Look, we got a massive closet right here, super deep. You'll get a lot out of this. But this is kind of strange. They have the AC here in the window, but you see this box right here? This is probably one of those old like AC slots. So I think if you were to remove that, you might be able to just shove it in there. It's hollow too, that's just like a board blocking it off. View here's cool, it's another street view, no complaints about that. And we're gonna compare this to something that's just for one person, probably not even a couple. It's down here around the corner on First Avenue, but the person we're meeting wants a coffee. You know what the rent is on this? There he is! Who is in this survival? Dude, I thought you had turned into a beautiful woman. Oh. It's like the worst day to enjoy this view, but man, there it is. We're looking out over Third Avenue, and this is a one bedroom. She told me to have everyone contact her instead of you for this place. Well, you know what? You contact her because she's underneath my train. Oh, really? Whoa, this is the basement? Wow, this is like another world down here. And <laughs> there's like a random plant. Why is this here? In the center of the laundry room. But look, we got some machines, no one's using them, which means if you gotta do your laundry right now, you're gonna be the first one. 325 for a wash, 325 for the dryer. There's some sort of card machine here. Oh no, there's a door that leads to a Chipotle. Can we go in and get a free burrito? Nope. And you don't want to either. They're not real Mexican food. It also looks like there's some uh, 
extensive renovation work. Although I'm not sure how quickly it's gonna get done. This thing doesn't look like it connects to anything. My assumption is this is for the floors and in here we got some sort of chemical. But I thought this was a studio. This thing has an awesome layout. Look at this, it's like a nice L shape. This is 14 feet, four inches wide by 17 feet long. Unfortunately, the light here is out. But this is pretty extensive. Over here, you could have a big table. L couch in this corner. Maybe just outside the kitchen, you could get like a rolling counter or like a bookshelf or something right here. Out the window, look at that. That's a little ramen restaurant. It comes with a free American flag. And we are definitely looking at some cool stuff. I bet at night, this is like all lit up. This kitchen is kind of like a hallway. Not a lot of room. Can we open the oven? Oh, look at that, yup, it clears. Anyways, if you can't cook and there's a fire, look, the flames just go right out here onto 3rd Avenue. Water pressure's good. And we've got cabinets. And look at these old school fuses. That's what's in here. These are old fuses. I haven't seen that in a long time. Bus fuses. Modern intercom system though. Can we turn this thing on? Does the fridge open the right way? Yes, it does. Smart people design this. Could you cook with three people in here? Yeah, you totally could. We have an executive chef, sous chef. Nobody wants to eat your keto meals, Charles. We're gonna go oh, hungry. We're gonna starve. Comes with a free coat hanger. And look at this, the floors here, this is actually carpet. Same thing in the other closet. This one's got some shelves, that's gonna be useful. And these closets are actually right across from the bathroom. The bathroom's technically connected to the bedroom, that's what we're in now, not everybody likes that. Crazy. We got two of these highway rest stop thrones in one day. Look at the rest of this bathroom. Kind of wild with the yellow tile and stuff everywhere, but it's a good size. And yellow's a happy color. You see we got some yellow vanity lights, a medicine cabinet right here. Oh, look at that. Free scissors and some uh, free deodorant. Check out the tub. No mold, very clean. Things are in really, really good shape. We got the three spouts. And in a place like this, you definitely want to check underneath the cabinets to see if there's anything shocking, but there's not. This Sleeping area is really good, 12 and a half by nine feet, two inches. Bed probably goes by the windows, then you can line up storage against this wall. And this is big enough that you can have a desk over here too. Work from home setup right here. What's the rent on this one? This one is 28, I believe. 28? Dude, this is good for 28. This one's definitely got the better view and the better price, but that's because it's a studio. You'll probably want to clean these windows, but look at that, we're looking out right over 3rd Ave. And I like how with this apartment, we've got like this little foyer area, so it almost feels like a one bed. Right next to the entry, we've got a closet, which, oh boy. There's a bedroom over here. It's a bedroom right here. That's right. You lied, man. Fake ad, said it was a studio. And the bathroom is the pretty version of what we had upstairs. Same kick flusher. Are these becoming a trend? Or was a highway rest stop recently burglarized? This is so clean, I really like this one a lot. This is 21 feet by 10 feet, eight inches. Bed over here by the windows. L-shaped couch in the corner, entertainment center. And if you mount that TV, you could probably have a desk and some dressers beneath it. What's up? Somebody There's somebody cooking? Oh yeah, look at them. There they are, cooking away. It's a nicer version of the kitchen we had upstairs. Everything's brighter too. The window's bigger. Does the vent light work? No. The sink looks like it might be deeper. And here we even have the sprayer attachment. What is this thing? Was this to like keep somebody from opening the fridge? Is that what this was? Maybe there was ice cream or something in there. You wanna get that workout in? Show us how jacked you are. We're gonna get that workout. Nice gym though, it is in use, so we can't stay too long. G? Bro, that's G right there. Whoa, it's like a house. What's the rent? 4,300. No broker fee. 
Dude, that seems like a good deal. Look at this, we're on the second floor. You can see like the whole neighborhood. Look at this sunken living room. That is pretty sweet. But you use that as a dining area. That's smart. The kitchen's right over there. You put a nice table and press your guests. Not bad. But which direction does the fridge open? Um, okay, yeah, it swings all the way out. Microwave here as well. Decent sink with the sprayer. But I think this gets the award for being the smallest kitchen of the day. Not that that's a bad thing. This common area is awesome. It's 29 feet by 11 feet, seven inches. And that's just what you see over here, not the den. Or I guess you could call this the foyer. Maybe you could get like an office in this spot. Yeah, look at these closets. These are pretty good. Maybe like a desk over here. And then in this area, you could have an entertainment center because then you could have a couch here, which would also face it. And you could see it from the dining area. We've got a massive heater right here. And my guess is that this is another apartment that just came up. That's why we see stuff like this in that ladder. And look at this bedroom. This is as big as one of those studios. Not too many people can get king size bedrooms in New York City, but Charles Monroe has it. He does have it. You can rent these apartments with him. How's the closet? Closet is small, but you got like four others to make up for it. That's true. This isn't the only one. It comes with some free string lights, but there is one out here in the hallway and that one is right next to the bathroom. Look at this. They're everywhere. Hand towel holder, shower wand, tub looks pretty good. Medicine cabinet. Oh, and look at them weird lights. Didn't know they sold those at Home Depot. That's the water pressure. Oh, that's really good. I like this bathroom. Pedestal sink. Somo doesn't want to be in the video, so she's gonna run over there. <laughs> Stay behind me, no one can see you, I promise. Charles, thank you so much, man. This no was problem. fun. His info will be below, and I'll see you in the next video. <laughs>